Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Yusuf Paris at Y3 Studio RC again. Uh, today, well, I was just going to let you know that the recent videos I've been doing a lot of work on the uh, E Revo. I have it right here. It's actually charging. Uh, today, I'm going to switch vehicles. Uh, I'm still going to do some videos on the uh, E Revo. Uh, but t today, I'm going to choose another vehicle. It's a the E Revo is the only vehicle right now that I currently have that's actually working properly, or working properly, and it's actually fun to play with. I have a, a, a GT4 that's working. I have a, St a Chevrolet Stingray that's working. I've got a, a helicopter that's working, but the charge is broken. Uh, yeah, so it's not working properly, really. I have a, B a Volkswagen Beetle. It's broken, really. It's still working, actually. It's just I need to charge the battery. And then I have some other vehicles, they're broken. Uh, I have three helicopters, they're broken. And I have uh, one, one car that's broken, one car that's not really broken, it's just the wheel that needs to be re-put, I have to put it back on. Well, that's really it. But, so today I'm going to be working on one of the helicopters. Uh, I will oh, show you here right now. Here are my helicopters, there's these two. And then there are these two, so actually I have four. Uh, this one here, it's working properly. It's just the battery. I uh, broke the charger. Uh, I have to solder it. And uh, I have this one here. This is the one I'm going to be working on. Uh, it's actually from uh, from Egypt, I think. I got it from Egypt. Uh, and then I have these two here. This one's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it yet. And this one's working, but there is a problem with the battery. I'll work on that another time. But today I'm going to be working on this one here. It's a nice thing. It's really nice. So, I'll show you what's the matter with it. So, uh, this helicopter, uh, everything's working. The uh, battery, there is something wrong with the battery. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to solder the uh, motor, the rear motor. Yeah, it's the rear one. Uh, so the helicopter, it has two motors. There's one here, one here, and one here. Uh, they each uh, propel uh, one set of uh, rotors. So this is uh, rotor B and this is rotor A. The one I'm going to be soldering is rot for rotor, uh, let's see. It's for rotor A, yeah. So I'll show you what I'm going to be soldering. Here's the, ro here's the motor for rotor A. Uh, here's the wire that I'm going to be soldering and I will be soldering it to this here just like this one uh, just like uh, this one here so for uh, helicopters before I get to work on it I will take off the uh, cover here is the cover just slips off like that actually I lost the screws for it I could always just find spare screws I'll put it to the side, right there. Ah, my air rope's finished charging. And for soldering, I haven't, I've just started soldering. Uh, I'm not really good at it. But I'm starting to learn new techniques and everything. Uh, so for soldering, you will need a soldering tool. Here's mine. It's a, uh, it's a weller. I forget which product. It's well, it's well like soldering too, I guess. And you will need uh, electrical uh, Rosen core solder. Uh, uh, Rosen core solder. Uh, so whenever you buy a sol solder, even if it says like for electrical uh, things, you have to make sure it has a Rosen. Uh, what is it called? It's called Rosen. Rosin, it's a, it's a special thing they add to the uh, metal uh, so that it uh, spreads properly. I don't know exactly what it does, but usually I buy the one with the Rosin already in it, or else you'll have to buy uh, the Rosin and apply it. It's just a mess. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to actually need this, because as you could see uh, on the rotor, there's already a bit on it right there. Uh, oh, I have a light here. There we go. There's already a bit on it right there. 
So I think I'll just melt it again onto these, this part. So to get started, uh, I will take a part of the wire off. Uh, not like the wire, like I'll take part of the plastic covering off uh, with, um, where is that tool? Don't have it. Here. It's okay, scissors will do for now. So I'll just take some of the covering off. Don't snip too hard or you'll go right through the wire. There we go. Uh, I'll cut this part off, just the tip. There we go. So there you can see, I cut off a part of the uh, plastic hosing. Here it is. Just a piece of rubber. Uh, so basically this part here, we will put it inside here. Basically, I'm going to remelt it like that. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, there you ha you could have a tool for um, completely removing it. It's like a suction thing. Uh, you you put the solder against it like that, and then it melts. Then you have this uh, suction. It it will remove it immediately, and then you can redo it. But I don't have that. Usually, I, you could do it with a special. You could also do it with a special tissue. Uh, it's a fiber. A metal fiber. You could wipe it off uh, while you're soldering. So for me, I'm just going to re-solder it, or I could try and yeah, I could tear it off actually. There we go. I teared a part of it off. Actually, I teared most of it off. There we go. Yeah, I actually, I teared most of it off. Hmm. So basically, I will be putting this here. Actually, yeah, so I will need solder. I will need the solder. Ah, okay, I see. So I didn't know there's actually a hole underneath this. I could just slip the wire in so it will stay put while I put this uh, uh, put the solder. So actually, I tore off. Uh, I can't find it somewhere. Anyways, I tore off some of the original solder. solder. Uh, most of it actually, almost all of it. So I will need to use this. So just for reference, this is solder. This here is this this wire. It's going to melt onto the, uh, the the thing here and connect it to the uh, motor. This is a soldering tool. It's just a, it's a heating mechanism to melt this. So uh, before you work with this, it's very dangerous. By the way, it, it, you could cause yourself a very major injury. Uh, before you work with it, you have to make sure your working space is tidy and there's no debris. Uh, also, plastic is not good. I'm working on plastic right now, so I'm more, and cardboard is good. You need to work on metal. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter now because I'm I'm working on the circuit board. So you have to be very careful because something can get burned and it was, it will be it will be nasty, very nasty. So I'm just going to uh, plug in this into the outlet. And I have this piece here. It's just a piece of metal. It's nothing real. I'm just gonna balance this on it so it doesn't touch the plastic of the table. Although it's not even touching it right now, but just for safety. So it will heat up very high. To, it, it heats up to 300, I think 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I think. Might be more than that even. 
So, I'm going to do high hands. Put this away. Keep this to the side. So, I have the, this ready. I'll face the helicopter in this direction. And I'm going to hold this here while. No, no, I'll hold it with this hand. While I apply the soldering. Okay. So that's the plan. So I'm actually sort of new, sort of new to soldering. I've soldered several things already. I soldered a, an E Revo battery, the just a Series One battery, and I've also soldered. A, I tried soldering the charger already. It didn't work. I'll try it again. So this is a new project. It's getting hot now. I'm just gonna get the strap for my head. So I won't be able to carry the camera because I'm going to be using both hands. So I'm going to put the camera somewhere. This will work. Ah, you can almost smell. I mean, you can't, but I can smell it. I can smell the soldering to a hundred heating up. So... So I'm really sorry if the view isn't good, but you'll understand from that distance. Uh, and if it is good, if the view is good, then I'm very sorry for my misjudgment of the camera. Uh, it is an Atom HD, by the way, and it's very small, especially the screen. It's very small, and I cannot see when I'm filming very well. But that's what I got. So let's. Get this done. Ooh, it's hot now. Let's do this. If I ruin it, I will never forgive myself. Just make sure this is heat resistant. It is heat resistant, okay. I will melt it. There, melt it very quickly. I'm done. Uh, let's see how it evened out. That's that's perfect. There, I'm done. And there you can see the work I did. I'll put this away so we're safe. And I'll unplug it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. It's pretty too late, anyways, but. Just before you do yours, you have to remember not to put too much, or you could cause a short circuit. Uh, it's uh, the energy won't flow through th flow through as efficient. We and um, be very careful not to burn the circuit board. That's really it. And if you do do a mistake, you could always uh, take it to a store or something. Can you tire? I don't know. And you could ask them to fix it for you. They'll they have the suction cup, or you could buy a suction tool. It's meant for soldering. You could probably find it on the web, and you can uh, do it yourself. You could re melt it and suck it up. But that's pretty hard to do. I, I've never done it before. Anyways, that's it. Here it is. It's, uh, the part I soldered. Actually, it's better without the light. No, it's better with the light. That's the part I soldered. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not that bad. I tried pulling it. It's working. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you will want to see the helicopter in action. So I will treat you with a short, short example. Oh, what's this? Oh, this doesn't even have a battery in it. Okay. Doesn't even have a battery. Uh, I'm gonna go. So I'm actually gonna do a little something a little funny here. I'm going to take the battery out of this. So there is a problem with this battery, uh, or there's a problem with the helicopter. I forget. And I'm going to put it in here because I forgot I I'm getting a new battery for this because it's uh, not working properly. Anyways, let's see. This in. Oh, I'll just do it like this. It's not gonna fly anyways. There's no way it's gonna fly. If there's something wrong with it. But I'm just gonna see if the rotors are working.
There, it is plugged in and ready to go. Nowhere. It's ready to go nowhere. Uh, I don't need that on. Oh, this is the new locks. Locks to this one here. Oh, and you get the remote. Ah, shoot. Don't have any batteries in the remote. Very dangerous. Nice and safe. There we go. And we will test it. It's on. And ooh. I should put an antenna on that. Okay. Antenna. But as you saw, it's already working. Stop, stop, stop. Anyways, there you have it. It is working. I finished my soldering. Perfect, perfect. I'm actually going to try and put the battery in and see if it works. If it works, then I don't need to buy a new battery. Which is awesome. Actually, I will still need to buy a new battery because this is um, less capacity than the original, so it's going to use much more. Mm, no, I don't think it would really matter that much. Anyways, I'm going to try and see. Let's see. The other battery was heavier, so probably it's going to lean to this to this side. Let's put this back on. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, well, this was the first episode for the uh, helicopters. Next episode, maybe it will be a helicopter again, or maybe it will be another action video for the e -Revo. Or it also might be... Oh, there are tools looking for. Okay. So there, the next episode might be for this guy here. Uh, there's no battery problems. This battery is actually belongs to it. But there's a problem with uh, with the motors. They aren't working properly. So uh, keep your expectations low for the helicopter project because I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to fix it. So uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions about this uh, show or uh, season or studio, please uh, go to our website, uh, wifearstudios.weebly.com. Uh,